Hello, this is Mr. White. We're on Chapter 14, Lesson 3, Biodiversity. My Planet Diary, posted by Max. Location, Hagerstown, Maryland. I went to summer camp to learn about wildlife and how to protect it. One of the activities that I liked the most was making bat boxes. These are wooden homes for brown bats, which often need places to rest. Making these houses is important because without brown bats, there would be too many mosquitoes. I hope the bats like their new homes as much as I love making them. What is biodiversity's value? No one knows exactly how many species live on Earth. As you can see in Figure 1, scientists have identified more than 1.6 million species so far. The number of different species in an area is called the area's biodiversity. It is difficult to estimate the total biodiversity on Earth because many areas have not been thoroughly studied. There are many reasons why preserving biodiversity is important. One reason to preserve biodiversity is that wild organisms and ecosystems are a source of beauty and recreation. In addition, biodiversity has both economic value and ecological value within an ecosystem. Economic value. Many plants, animals, and other organisms are economically valuable for humans. These organisms provide people with food and supply raw materials for clothing, medicine, and other products. No one knows how many other useful species have not been identified. Ecosystems are economically valuable too. Many companies now run wildlife tours to rainforests, savannas, mountains, and other places. This ecosystem tourism, or ecotourism, is an important source of jobs and money for nations such as Brazil, Costa Rica, and Kenya ecological value. All the species in an ecosystem are connected to one another. Species may depend on each other for food and shelter. A change that affects one species can affect all the others. Some species play a particularly important role in their ecosystems. A keystone species is a species that influences the survival of many other species in an ecosystem. Sea otters, as shown in figure 2, are one example of a keystone species. What factors affect biodiversity? Biodiversity varies from place to place on Earth. Factors that affect biodiversity in an ecosystem include climate, area, niche, diversity, genetic diversity, and extinction. Climate. The tropical rainforest of Latin America, Southeast Asia, and Central Africa are the most diverse ecosystems in the world. The reason for the great biodiversity in the tropics is not fully understood. Many scientists hypothesize that it has to do with climate. For example, tropical rainforests have fairly constant temperatures and large amounts of rainfall throughout the year. Many plants grow year-round. This continuous growing season means that food is always available for other organisms. Area. See figure three. Within an ecosystem, a large area will usually contain more species than a small area. For example, you would usually find more species in a 100 square meter area than in a 10 square meter area. Niche diversity. Coral reefs are the second most diverse ecosystems in the world. Found only in shallow, warm waters, coral reefs are often called the rainforest of the sea. A coral reef supports many different niches. Recall that a niche is the role of an organism in its habitat, or how it makes its living. A coral reef enables a greater number of species to live in it than a more uniform habitat, such as a flat sandbar, does. Genetic diversity. Diversity is very important within a species. The greatest genetic diversity exists among species of unicellular organisms. Organisms in a healthy population have diverse traits, such as color and size. Genes are located within cells and carry the hereditary information that determines an organism's traits. Organisms inherit genes from their parents. The organisms in one species share many genes, but each organism also has some genes that differ from those of other individuals. Both the shared genes and the genes that differ among individuals make up the total gene pool of that species. Species that lack a diverse gene pool are less able to adapt and survive changes in their environment. Extinction of species. 
the disappearance of all members of a species from Earth is called extinction. Extinction is a natural process that occurs when organisms do not adapt to changes in their environment. In the last few centuries, the number of species becoming extinct has increased dramatically. Once a population drops below a certain level, the species may not recover. People have directly caused the extinction of many species through habitat destruction, hunting, or other actions. Species in danger of becoming extinct in the near future are called endangered species. Species that could become endangered in the near future are called threatened species. Endangered and threatened species are found on every continent and in every ocean. How do humans affect biodiversity? Humans interact with their surroundings every day. The many choices people make impact the environment and affect species. Biodiversity can be negative or positively affected by the actions of humans. Damaging biodiversity. A natural event, such as a hurricane, can damage an ecosystem, wiping out populations or even entire species. Human activities can also threaten biodiversity and cause extinction. These activities include habitat destruction, poaching, pollution, and the introduction of exotic mm -hmm. species. Habitat destruction. The major cause of extinction is habitat destruction, the loss of a natural habitat. Clearing forest or filling in wetlands changes those ecosystems. Breaking larger habitats into smaller, isolated pieces or fragments is called habitat fragmentation. See figure 5. Some species may not survive such changes to their habitats. Poaching. The illegal killing or removal of wildlife from their habitats is called poaching. Some endangered species are valuable to poachers. Animals can be sold as pets or used to make jewelry, coats, belts, or shoes. Plants can be sold as house plants or used to make medicines. Pollution. Some species are endangered because of pollution. Pollution may reach animals through the water they drink, the air they breathe, or the food they eat. Pollutants may kill or weaken organisms or cause birth defects. Exotic species. Introducing exotic species into an ecosystem can threaten biodiversity. Exotic species can outcompete and damage native species. The gypsy moth was introduced into the United States in 1869 to increase silk production. Gypsy moth larvae have eaten the leaves off millions of acres of trees in the northeastern United States. Protecting Biodiversity Some people who preserve biodiversity focus on protecting individual endangered species. Others try to protect the entire ecosystems. Three methods of protecting biodiversity are captive breeding, laws and treaties, and habitat preservation. Captive Breeding Captive breeding is the mating of animals in zoos or on wildlife preserves. Scientists care for the young and then release them into the wild. Much of the sandhill crane habitat in the United States has been destroyed. To help the population, some cranes have been taken into captivity. The young are raised and trained by volunteers to learn the correct behaviors, such as knowing how and where to migrate. They are then released into the wild. laws and treaties. In the United States, Endangered Species Act prohibits the trade of products made from threatened or endangered species. This law also requires the development of plans to save endangered species. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species is an international treaty that lists more than 800 threatened and endangered species that cannot be traded for profit or other reasons anywhere in the world. Habitat Preservation the most effective way to preserve biodiversity is to protect whole ecosystems. Protecting whole ecosystems saves endangered species, the species they depend upon, and those that depend upon them. Many countries have set aside wildlife habitats as parks and refuge. Today, there are about 7,000 nature parks, preserves, and refuges in the world.